It's already been a terrific season for the Southern New Hampshire men's basketball team. Coach Stan Spiro's club off to their best start in a long time. They're going to try to finish up strong. You know, anytime you have a season like this, you know, it's a process that evolves. Uh, certainly at the beginning of the season, we never thought that this team was going to win 17 games in our league, especially in our league being, you know, so tough, top to bottom. Uh, especially our side of the ledger. And for that, it was a surprise. But we had talent, you know, we knew we had, you know, uh, some of the right pieces. I mean, that's a, that's a big statement. I still believe that I don't, that us as a team and us as a, a athletic program, we do not get the respect that we are deserved. And we, every year we, we try to earn it. One of the things is the coaching staff, you know, especially at this stage of the season, is you need to keep that edge. You know, we've had a pretty good edge uh, going into the playoffs, uh, I think we won something like 13 out of 14. And, and doing that and playing strong at the end of the season is always the right way to approach any, any tournament. And certainly uh, we need these next few practices uh, to keep that edge. And hopefully we can build on what we finished with uh, at the end of the season. Because, you know, right now, it's one game and out. I think we're going to have to keep our foot on the gas. Just continue to push. Don't become complacent and literally just become the, just stay the aggressor against everyone. Defensively, we've been playing great. So I think that's where most of our success has been coming from, just on the defensive the biggest, end. The biggest one is not to lose, obviously, but uh, it's to grow from where we already, where we already, what we already created. This, this, the end of the regular season. It's to just go from there and get better. Anytime you go into a postseason, uh, I think any team needs a reference point. You know, a lot of these kids saw what it was like to win a conference championship, go to the NCAAs, and that reference point should help, you know, this team, you know, because we accomplished it, you know, in the past. So it should be uh, something that, you know, we could use as a positive going into the playoffs. We've been there before, and you know, although I was a freshman, I played a lot, so I felt like I was an upperclassman at the time, but I just feel like that experience and being going through that, we kind of know how hard it is to continue to win and continue to come and play every game like it's the last, because, you know, now it's playoff season, so it's do or die. When we went to the NE10 Championship my, my sophomore year, that was defense. Like, it was, it, that's literally all it was. We shot the ball well, but in the end, we got big stops, huge stops. I thought this team, you know, more so than any team in, in quite some time here, they enjoy playing with one another. I love the way they share the basketball uh, night in and night out. You know, we don't look, you know, to a particular person to score 30, you know, 30 points. And I think if we continue that, that passion and the ability, you know, to distribute the ball and, and, and get everybody involved. And certainly you need a bench, you know, a little bit longer, deeper bench going into the playoffs. So that's something we're going to be working on at practice the next couple of days.